<laughs> so, Pedro, speaking of uh, the that tuning thing, if you play principal oboe, how much pressure is involved in giving that A that everybody has to tune to? Well, the uh, the um, the legend is that you tune to the oboe because they cannot tune; they're inflexible, <laughs> so they don't have to do anything. They just play the A. <laughs> and since I play the English horn, which is basically always out of tune, uh, I don't have to worry about that too much. I thought that was just violas that were out of tune. <laughs> well, wow. but here's the thing: the English horn, even though in the opera um, scene it's a solo instrument, yes. Um, it's basically part of the alto range of the orchestra. So my job is to be always with the French horns, with the violas, with the bass clarinet, and these instruments, uh, we congeal the cellos. I mean, my idea would be to sound like a cello. Um, but in terms of uh, soloistic playing, as, as De Mare knows, because he's playing in the Met, um, the, the common code for opera players is to always follow the singers, not the conductor. Okay. Uh, I mean, yes, the conductor, of course. Hello, maestro. But, uh, <laughs> I, I, will, I have a whole bunch of questions about uh, yes. coming up. <laughs> right. 